two decades ago, the best Star Wars game came out, and that is Star Wars Battlefront. And you bet, I played the shit out of that on the PlayStation 2. I played it so much to the point the disc actually burned and, and it was unusable. That's how much I played it. That game was amazing. And you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, the first mission is really messed up actually because you play as the droid army and you have to eradicate the Gungans. Just to be clear, you're a droid army gunning down amphibious uh, humanoid creatures that don't even have guns to defend themselves. All they have are like explosive rocks that are fake grenades or something. Like, droids just went in there with tanks and just eradicated all of them. I loved that mission so much, and now I'm questioning myself for loving that mission so much. You get the point. This was probably one of the best Star Wars games ever. And then they made a sequel, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Wow, so cool. Now we're in space, and the campaign is even cooler. That, it was, I don't think you understand how amazing this era of Star Wars games was. And then EA started making some Star Wars games, and they just weren't that good. I don't care what people say, I just don't find them entertaining. Now, we get to the kicker. Just two days ago, as of making this video, they released Star Wars Battlefront Classical Edition, which is basically a remake of the first two Star Wars Battlefronts, and they're just remastered. Graphics are enhanced, some maps are enhanced, everything is just pimped out about this game. Basically, um, steroids. That's what this was. Just total steroids on a video game, and you bet I was hyped for this. I have not been this hyped for a game in a really long time, and we're gonna get to that later also. <laughs> Before I get into the video, I would just like to ask you, if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, because if you like and subscribe, I will guarantee you Allison is going into a volcano. She's already tied up in the car, covered in prime bottles. That's right, she is currently in my trunk, covered in prime bottles right now. Here is scientific evidence. I will drive all the way to Hawaii, and I will throw her into a volcano. All you have to do is like and subscribe. So, uh, do that right now please she knows too much back to the video so finally the game released but it was a total failure like they done goofed they up i oh my god literally take a look at this star wars battlefront classical collection devs respond after abysmal launch Abysmal launch. I know how to speak. Yeah, this was a really horrible launch. This is probably one of the worst launches since uh, no, no Man's Sky. And that's the game, the last game I was hyped for, oddly enough. That was the game that I pre-ordered and everything, and the game was a total failure. It was horrible. It's good now, apparently, but I don't care. I spent probably $90 on like the deluxe edition or something like that and, and I almost did the same for this but part of me decided not to pre-order it just to be clear I'm mainly talking about PC right now not PlayStation or Xbox all those are all that that launched fine I guess but not PC us I guess but Zach why don't you just buy a PlayStation or an Xbox because I don't want to pay for online I shouldn't have to pay for online okay I played so much PlayStation 3 online Grand Theft Auto 5 Call of Duty all the usual stuff online for free PS4 comes out I'm supposed to pay for that now no I'm not gonna pay for something that has been free for so long screw that and the PS5 comes out, I'm honestly done with consoles at this point, after the PS4. Don't get me wrong, the graphics were great on it, but overall, I just... It's just a turnoff. Consoles are now a turnoff to me. Anyways, let's get back into this. So it says here, Star Wars Battlefront Classical Collection launched on March 14th, and it sounds like a bit of, it was a bit of a mess. Oh boy, it was. As of, as of this writing, the... <laughs> there okay there were so many negative reviews out of 4000 
reviews, only 19% of them were good. And I'm in quotation marks, good. Because I'll show you some, at least one of the good ones, and you'll see exactly what I mean in quotations, good. And matter of fact, they never even apologized at all for this here here's what they said this was the company's statement we like to thank the battlefront community for their overwhelming support and feedback for the star wars battlefront classic collection release at launch we experienced critical errors with our network infrastructure the result was incredibly high ping matchmaking errors crashes and servers not appearing in the browser get this there were only three servers when it launched on pc how ridiculous is that since launch, we've been working to address these issues and increase network stability. We will continue our efforts until our network infrastructure is stabilized to prevent further outages. They did not apologize for this absolute control of a mess they created. And I'm sorry, but I just lost all faith in video game companies, and so should you. This is a total, like, up and it should not have been one like this game was already released it was already out on pc but you know the 2004 one and you know what they did you know what they did to enhance the graphics they only used ai so like the original game on pc was only three gigs and this one was 50 gigs now i'll admit i'm not the most like informed person when it comes to why something is a certain amount of storage when it comes to a video game but i just looked at that and thought there's no reason that should be 50 gigs right like am i wrong to think that right like here's the specs all right you need an intel core i3 you need at least four gigs of ram two gigabytes of dedicated graphics and 50 gigs of space like do you know how much like bloatware has to be in this for it to be 50 gigs like that ai was like they only used ai to amplify this that was not a good idea that it was not a big brain move of them and let's let's keep going let's keep going experience they experienced severe issues but others clearly oh they said that their team played it and had no issues wow so convenient isn't that but they're like but everyone else had issues apparently weird but server issues are not the only problems players were having according to reviews and social media posts there's lags lost audio sluggish performance and just it's just abysmal that's the word they have to use it is abysmal like this was supposed to be an amazing game and that just did not happen and apparently these are the same people who did knights of the old republic 2 remastered and i guess that had a lawsuit and it because it failed to provide dlcs so good job trusting these guys again i guess here right here see customer reviews overwhelmingly negative wow <laughs> all right what we got here let's take a look at all of them this guy goes <laughs> This was not like the simulation. You are correct. The PlayStation 2 version, as of right now, is so much better than this. This guy gave us a whole review. First hour of launch, only have three servers to join, massing about 200 people round up. Seriously, WTF is this? I'll update this review if I can actually join a lobby. Update. Was able to join one Heroes vs. Villains match and the hero side was completely broken. No one could join the Heroes team which resulted in no one, no one to fight against. I figured this may have been just Battlefront 2 issues so I hoped... Hopped on over to Battlefront 1 multiplayer. There's zero servers for Battlefront 1. I did not know that. There's no... That's honestly... Battlefront 1's my personal favorite. It has better maps. Hashtag changed my mind. Seriously, how hard is it to launch a working functionable game? I'll continue to update this review. Update number two. They added a bunch of servers. Here's the problem. <laughs> we gave you servers and more issues. Actually, here's several issues. Shots that you hit players with won't register at all. Every player is popping in and out everywhere to the point where you will just die randomly. Swimming through molasses would be smoother than multiplayer combat. 
twice, dude. Match end in about two minutes tops due to such small amount of tickets required to win. Whoever made the official server set that low requirement for so who whoever made the official server set that low requirement for yeah he wrote that that's weird. The quick match button never worked to the point where you're forced to manually join servers that always have incorrect player count. I don't even know what that means. That's got to be horrible. Servers that say they are full most likely aren't, and servers that aren't likely are. The aforementioned issue with the other team not being able to spawn in is still there. Meaning matches are permanently broken until the enemy team just takes all the flags, forcing a new round to begin. There's also pretty noticeable input lag on both controllers and mouse and keyboard, and I tried both. My god, this man is having a horrible experience. That's all the note for me. That's all of... That's... Oh my god, I can't talk. That's all of note for me. From bugs discovered, then fixed. I hope they fix these server issues because, good God, it's a dis it's disgustingly bad. The only good thing I could say about the collection is smooth single player frame rate and gameplay. I've personally heard of bad experience happening there, such as aforementioned input lag and the it just crashes. Got it. No issues that I can personally broadcast. Now I did see reviews where people were mentioning that when they played single player for some reason their PC would just start like all the fans would just start going yet you only need two gigabytes of dedicated graphics to play this game so there's something broken with it so many polygons let's look at another review let me get this straight you launched this game only with three servers on PC knowing full well people only bought it for the sole reason peak comedy gold Easy refund. What a disappointment. Update. After two hours, they finally launched the servers, and they are terrible. Horrible ping. Stuttering. By tomorrow, cheaters will be rampant. <laughs> Dear God. Concerning trend lately in the industry of smaller teams being brought by larger parents, contracted and licensed projects like this, and completely missing the ball. Licensed a PC Windows port to a subsidiary that specialized in Mac and Linux ports. Proof is in the pudding. God, I think I'm illiterate. No server? <laughs> it's Mega Knight. You're repurchasing what may as well amount to an AI upscale Battlefront 1 and 2 with no additions, if not alterations made for the worse. And he's talking smack. Oh, what the heck does he say down there? Pants on head, ass backwards kind of decision that was made without any forethought to have actually been a purposeful decision. God, I'm illiterate. As of now, the game is dead on arrival. Multiplayer completely broken. Might as well play the original. Literally, it's what I've been doing. What else we got here? Do not buy unless servers are fixed. Oh yeah, you're telling me. Oh, he updated it. Hold up. Let me read this whole thing. Do not buy unless servers are fixed. Currently, game is totally unplayable. Even if you manage to get into a server, player count spawn. Players cannot spawn. Not sure if cheater slash denial thing bugged gameplay or both. If you bought, don't waste your two hours. Refund window till confirmation of fix. Update. Servers are working-ish. They are undeniably latency issues for both of them. Oh my god, this is horrible. Nobody's going to read... Oh, here's a good... Here's... So, remember when I said only 19% are good reviews? Just to be clear, here's one of the good reviews. Nobody is going to read this, so I'm just going to say that I'm gay. 1,513 people found this review helpful. 937 people found this review funny. Like, do you do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this game just... It just... Not in a good way either. Like, it's a miserable relationship. Like, imagine going out with someone and they keep gaslighting you to keep you in the relationship. That's what they're doing. They don't apologize a single time. They just keep stringing you along, milking you for everything you got. That's what this is. That's what this is. And I doubt they're going to fix it. If they fix it, I'll be amazed. I will, I'll eat 
I will eat a tape measure if they actually get this game completely operational. Like this review, buggy poor UI and unplayable multiplayer. Really wants I really wanted this to be good and so did I. I wanted this game to be incredible. I was so excited for this game. I felt like a kid. You don't understand. I have a collection of VHS tapes. I binge watched the Star Wars original series on VHS just to prepare myself for this. And now I'm not even going to buy this game, probably. Like, it's just a cash grab. That You said it right, Dispacito number 8. This game launch reminds me of another game in recent years. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Oh, right. No Man's Sky. Dude, I can't believe I wasted so much money on that. I hate my life. And I think my favorite review is just this guy. Womp womp. Did you just say womp womp? Uh, what did we learn? What did we learn? What did we learn? Well, mm, this game is horse and I don't even have to play it to know it. I was, I had a whole video planned out for this actually, where I played the game, some storyline I was gonna add into it. Like I was gonna make like a point of view, like the video pretending I was a guy in the Star Wars universe. And now I'm probably not gonna get that, but whatever, who gives a I guess I'll just go the Gungans on my PlayStation 2. Uh, video end.